This is the grade three math practice test for TN Ready. On this version of the test, this is question number 20. The figure show, shown has a perimeter of 45 inches. The length of one side is unknown, and they did give us an image, which I appreciate. What is the unknown length, which is down here, is this question mark in inches? Enter your answer in the space provided. Now, the math concept here is perimeter. Now, in movies, you'll hear things like, go check the perimeter. And what they mean is walk all the way around the building and make sure there aren't any good guys or bad guys or whoever they're supposed to be against. I don't know the whole situation going on with this movie I've created in my head. But anyway, it's going all the way around. The only difference is in math, we actually add the distances that we move. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to go up. And that would be five inches. Then I'm going to go here. And that's 15 inches. So I had to add them all together. Uh-oh. I pin did that thing again. And then I'm going to go here, and I'm going to do 15, and then I'm going to go here, and I don't know yet, so question mark. So let's add the numbers that we know together, and this is a calculator allowed section, so you're totally welcome to do that. I don't really need to do that for this question, just because I don't need to do that one for this question, whatever. I know that, I don't know why I wrote 15 there. See. I'm going to leave in that mistake just so hopefully you caught it and you're like, 15, what? But I noticed that I was wrong because I looked back at the question. And no, I'm not one of those people who creates fake mistakes so you could catch them. I just made a mistake. I make mistakes, everyone. So anyway, I'm going to combine these together. 15, 5 more would be 20, 5 more would be 25. So 25 plus some amount equals my perimeter. I'm going to move that over here change color just because I feel like it perimeter equals 25 plus something that we don't know yet now the perimeter value they do give you that amount it's 45 inches and if you want to put the units there you can and it's equal to 25 inches plus something how do we figure out what it is well there's a few ways you could just check and guess that's fine which would mean that you just try different numbers and see if it equals 45. Or we can look at opposite operations. So we have addition right now. It says 25 plus a number. But if I already have the answer and I need to get there, but I, uh, and I need to get from the answer to the question, I'll just use the opposite of addition, which is, of course, subtraction. So I'll say 45 minus 25 equals... 20. So that's what my suspected amount is. Can I check my answer? Of course I can. Because it's a calculator allowed section, I can even uh, check my answer in a more heartwarming or kind way, whatever you want to say. just need to bring up a calculator here real fast. Hold on one second. There we go. So I'm going to clear this out. Now again, my suspected answer is 20. Let me do a little bit of racing here. Sorry about that. Because I have everything I need over in this section. And we'll go around and we'll just add in our amount like we did before. We started out with 5, right? So 5 plus, and then we walked over here and got 15. Plus 5 more is down this side. And then we think that this bottom part is 20. Oops. I hit the button twice thinking I missed it. Plus 20 equals 45. So there you go there. 45 is the official number that we get by adding in 20. So my answer to this question is 20. Make sure you carry that over to your answer sheet. Um, you may do it all in one block or you may do it over time, but just make sure that you get it over there and you write the number in a way that you can remember what the number is because my handwriting isn't always the best. Sometimes I need to take a little bit of extra time when I write the final answer so I can carry over the correct amount into the block provided.